we're surrounded by technology and information these days with smartphones, computers, and all the rest. How important is it to still have your face-to-face mentors? Do you think at football clubs? Oh yeah, absolutely. And again, um, there's probably different versions of mentors too, and some will, you know, some are giving good information about maybe what's needed from a skill set, you know, improvement, a technical point of view. On some, it's it's about confidence and um, you know, giving them the confidence to try different skills and, and not worry about the failures along the way. It's not, you know, um, so there's probably yeah different mentors along the way that build you up all around and, and build you towards a peak of being able to deliver the skill but have the confidence to do it, have the confidence to get over, you know, it's not failure but a bad kick. And um, and I, I think there's, there's plenty of room for lots of people to, you know, to enhance your own performance along the way in your journey. How hard can it be to teach footballers to, that are now committed to punting to now apply themselves to um, one skill set? Well, uh, I, well, it's a it's a really interesting um, point because there's the the college game in a sense has now changed. Where yes, we've got to teach the spiral. Um, the Aussie drop punt has come into the game so much so that you might kick uh, an Aussie drop punt 65% of the time at college. Mm-hmm. Um, there are kicks where they might do a forward tumbling kick, um, kick it end over end forward so it tries to bounce and roll on. So over the last maybe several, uh, yeah, maybe seven or eight years, the, the drop punt has come into our game a lot. Uh, our game, the American game, and because it's what used to be, you would kick it high to the returner trying to catch it. Now the game's turned into kick it away from the returner, kick it away from the guy who's trying to catch it and run it back. So, bringing having the ability to grow up playing Aussie rules and, and have a good fluent kick, have a good uh, well, an ability to place the ball where you need to. Um, it certainly has helped our guys, you know. And for the developing footballers listening in uh, under the age of, let's say, 18, boys and girls, uh, what sort of uh, distances have you seen people gr- develop in a year's time when they've dedicated themselves and and uh, given it everything they can? What What's possible? Yeah. Um, yeah, what's possible? It's a different ball. It's got a different sweet spot. So the American ball's... Um, the American ball's probably got a, you know, I guess a 50 cent size sweet spot on the middle of it. Um, it's quite, you know, pointy and, and sharp on the end. So it, it tends to react quite harshly if you get it wrong. Um, we go, we go, I guess one of the main things that we do initially is to, is to try and understand if they, if they do understand how to maximize power or where are they getting their power from? Are they, using their levers uh, properly? Are they uh, kicking with or without any efficiency from you know, from the mechanical and the body posture? What were the one or two or two or three things that you'd say, oh, you're probably doing this. Should I hold the ball out further than the drop punt? Should I, uh, you know, the angle you hold it on, uh, I, I've never been consistent. And even when I kick a nice torpedo, yep. it only goes 45 metres. So okay. what, what would be the reasons? Okay, um, I would say from a from a torpedo point of view, oh, and I'll, I'll just clarify this by asking: Have we got a big run up, or have we got? Will we say as long as you like, as okay. long as you think is important? Okay. So if we're saying right, we're going to kick a long distance competition. Yeah. What are, what is the distance you should run up, and to get the effective or the the most uh, you know the best result you could? Yeah. Okay. If you, if you ask anyone and if you ask me, I would say go off about three steps. Um, that's, all, that's all you need from a power. Yes, you can generate a little bit more leg speed, but you might get more leg speed, but you might lose efficiency because your stepping pattern gets out of control and changes some, some angles. 